So welcome to my development movie, all about animations, um, and where I started doing animations, and how I finished on the course. Uh, the first episode was Rob Takes on America about the US election, and the first animation for that was... Brothers in Trump. Uh, I'll let you watch the first bit, but it's about um, the real reason why Donald Trump doesn't like Mexico. So the next part of the animation entitled Donald Trump Talking. So I I googled how to how to do this for a character, and it came up with um designing different lip movements for different letters. So I did that for Donald Trump, uh, as you can see here. So yeah, so this image was I think the letter U, and then this was the letter L. So you do that to the audio, make sure you time it out properly, and it should come out like this. I want to build a wall. War between me and my brother. I mean, um, Mexico. Mexico. So with this, I wanted to take it into live action and um, go a bit more complicated with it in the next episode. Why are you so grumpy? To tell you the truth, man. <laughs> Santa, Santa didn't pick me this year. So after that, I went to the William Kentridge exhibition uh, called Thick of Time and then designed these um, rather handmade characters or, or this guy and then a little sundial as it was going around on a day. Um, it was just kind of to understand shadows, really. And, um, yeah, and just kind of take that to the next step. Which was then to look back into my course project. And I had a prisoner who was there for one day. And then the next image was him being there for loads of days. So I took that into an animation form this called is Milk. Milk is a great way to keep your bones strong. But who cares about that? Certainly not this prisoner. He really don't like milk, but he does like cheese. So, so as you can see, I took the shadow waited. effect a bit and further. Waited. Um, how long is this going to take? Oh, okay. Life's no, still going, still going. And then for the course project, I did four animations. Here's one of them. Let grass grow. This is grass. This grass, you do in fact have to cut it. Otherwise it turns into a jungle. Bloody hell. Actually, a jungle in the garden sounds cool. So at the end of every episode there'd be a quirky little message. Um, and it seems to go down really well. So, let your garden grow I guess? I don't know. The next uh, animation was the first episode of the season and I kind of learnt more about um, pinpoints in bodies. Um, this is a computer, but back when it was invented, no one knew so how to use it. it's a simple body struggle, but um, yeah, it kind of bringing my characters to life a bit this more is a TV. Uh, really helped. And once again, no one knew how to use it. Uh, Nick, this bit is um, really interesting. I just drew the world and move it a little bit to the left every time in the same circle. Uh, it creates a great effect. Uh, so with the next animation, it was about uh, music uh, being played by animals. And with this, I drew a pig five times. Pig on the drums. And it looked like he was playing the drums. Uh, really interesting concept. Um, the next one was about uh, a penguin playing the piano. The same concept. Penguin on piano. Just... Um, yeah, looks like they're playing piano, or it is two different movements. Uh, so, the Rob Bragg show ended, I was dead in the episode. Um, so I just wanted to get on with animations, really. Um, so I did this little raindrop falling, just as a little concept idea. Um, and it went on to Drop of Life. An idea that, um, it it went ahead for like half half of it, and then it just kind of like... It didn't really just. It didn't really seem to work with my sort of style and humour. It was a bit too serious. Um, then Mary said to go away and look at news stories. This 
this tastes like shit. So this was about when um, they found out uh, Pooh was in um, a Coke. So that was really helpful for me anyway. They are making a replica of the Titanic at a small cost of $300 million. So the same that happened like last time. So with this I kind of learned um, about reflection in the water. Um, that was also helpful. But um, when I got back, Finn showed me uh, this book about animated survival kit. Um, like to bring my characters more to life. So I learned about walking. I got to... I just got on with another idea about a pee um, on the plate and, you know, how it always gets away from you. So, um, yeah, I got on with concept design, uh, storyboarding, and here's the final animation. So with this as well, I was learning more about After Effects as well, um, not just Photoshop, but both of them put together. And I think the result, yeah, it's really good, I, I quite like this animation. I think it's um, it's very me, and I was really happy with the um, the end result. Um, but yeah, I wanted to, to to do something big. I wanted to do a three minute animation, so I got to work on this idea about a cactus who really wanted friends, um, but no one liked him because he was a bit of a bit of a prick. <laughs> um, yeah, so here's a little short bit of um, of him coming to life, a little butterfly going past, but. Um, yeah, I just wanted to create um, a three-minute animation for the for the degree show. Um, you know, just showing all my skills I've learned, um, and yeah, just um, just getting on with it really. And now it's all done. It's um, yeah, I think I think it's a really good place to end the animation, and whatever happens next will be great. Um, I'm looking forward to the start of my career within animation. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the development movie and uh, I hopefully see you soon. Bye.